This is from CJ Higgins at Blood Ocean 07. What do you imagine the lifespan of the Switch will be? Five years? Ten years? I think you'll be looking at easily five years. I think you're going to be looking at a combo system. This will replace the 3DS as it goes out over the next couple of years. It's already kind of headed in that direction. And I think you're going to be looking at a sort of iteration like you did with, with the DS. You're going to be seeing one or two upgrades during its life. I, I, I think you're going to, you're going to have maybe, maybe not to the same extent of graphical differences between like the PS4 Pro versus the normal one. But I think you're going to get to the point where Nintendo is going to have to keep up with the PS5, which seems like it's going to be announced any day now, um, and whatever the new Xbox system is. And I, and I think you're going to get something to sort of stay one step behind instead of two. Right. If that makes sense. So you can still extend out the generation. So you'll, you might get a, you might get a mini switch. Maybe. I, I still think that's uh, a very likely thing, but you're going to get a more powerful one. Technology gets cheaper. You'll be able to crunch more power inside a handheld mm-hmm. eventually. And so maybe three, four years from now, you'll get something that comes closer to a PS4 in terms of graphical power inside a little handheld. It's not impossible. Sure. The way this stuff projects out, it's just keeping the heat at a reasonable level so you don't burn up your hands, you know, playing it. And yeah, I think due to this, I mean, when you, when you look at the Switch, I think we're not close to knowing where it can go in terms of possibilities. That sounds cheesy, but I think it's the truth. I think it's just a matter of Nintendo deciding, okay, we have one unified plat- unified platform that we can survive, and maybe maybe we just slowly upgrade this every three years we have a new version come out and then you either get the new version with better graphics or you know it's locked at you know 25 frames or 30 frames versus maybe handheld eventually 60 frames i have no idea or you know what i mean like i think you're going to go in that direction though where you're going to have you know different the same way now on the xbox and playstation you're going to have oh this is kind of okay but for the super version you got to get the brand new one or you know, because they're never going to have probably in console upgrades. You're never going to you're not going to have your Switch Rumble Pack probably. I don't see that happening. You have to buy a whole new one probably. That's the way Nintendo well, probably want to do it. It rumbles already. I, okay, I, I remember the I mean, I mean the expansion pack. I mean the N64 expansion. Oh, you're not going to get that for your Switch. Yeah, no. it's too complicated to like plug in something and get more graphical power. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't see that. It'd be, it'd be cute if they do that, but I I think that we're seeing we're going to see the first. We're really going to start to see the potential of this with the uh, with uh, what the hell is the Nintendo fucking learning thing that they're coming out with? What Labo. Labo. I was, I was thinking of Evo for some reason. Uh, yeah, with Labo, I think that's going to be the first run of where can we take this, and that might. That's not going to be. I think it's going to splinter off in that direction, but that's only going to get you so far. You're still going to need a more powerful console in like three, four years. Yeah, I I, I can see that. I I think. If I had to guess, I'm going to just state seven and seven years. There seven years when the last game will be made. Uh, well, somewhere around there. Um, it, 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 the Which reason, is roughly Super Nintendo. The reason I'm using that is um, the 3DS just celebrated its seven year anniversary uh, just a few days ago. There's still a few more games uh, to come out in the U.S. for the 3DS. Um, they haven't officially announced any of them to be the last game, but I mean, they probably will be. It'll probably, I mean, this will probably be the last year of the 3DS. So the 3DS will probably have had an eight year lifespan. Um, with this being both a portable and a home console, I agree with you also that this will probably be one of those Nintendo consoles. I mean, they've done it with the handhelds before, but it'll probably be one of the first times Nintendo with a home console does do an upgrade with better power. I imagine we'll get one with uh, a screen that goes beyond 720 um, Maybe yeah, 960. In, in, in handheld mode. Um, but I think, I think we may see something, you know, a successor announced. Before, you know, before seven years, possibly, or maybe at the seven year mark. But I think they will support the Switch beyond whenever they announce something else, just like they did the 3DS. Just like the think- 3DS ended up being supported for longer than I think most people thought it would. I think this is your Nintendo console, though, this format for the next 20 years. Oh, I, sure. I don't think they're going to go back to this is proven to console. be this is proven to be too successful already. 
Yeah. This is going to be the way to distinguish themselves from the competition. Just don't fucking call the next one Switch U. Yes. They learned their they learned a tough fucking lesson. The yeah. Other day. Um, but I think this is what you're going to have for Nintendo going forward. Don't get fucking cute with your naming conventions. Don't make a fucking maniac out of us. I think you're going to have it be the the lesser powerful but portable version. And of course, you might have a portable Xbox or PlayStation down the line. They might try to do it. But I think Nintendo hit upon something that no one thought would hit this sweet spot as well as they did. Well, you can play, you know, you can play uh, Wolfenstein. It's not going to look as good as the console but who cares because you can play it walking around your house in your underwear yeah i mean you know? i think i mentioned or, it or here pants. or i've at least mentioned it to friends for all the talk about versatility i don't think anyone really cared about it or realized what a game changer that would be until people had it in their hands and had a month to use it and realize how they, cool that versatility was they warned us all those hipster uh rooftop parties uh, yeah. uh, they, they warned us that they 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 knew that's and that's how people are using it uh kind of 